Nikocado Avocado is probably YouTube's biggest plot twist ever. Because the dude has lived three different lives in just a few years and we don't know which one is real. From being a vegan activist to becoming the heaviest mukbanger on the platform, for the past few years Nikocado has been the center of criticism, hatred, and wrath from almost every commentary YouTuber. But then, out of nowhere, Nikocado Avocado played an epic you know reverse card on everyone. Two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. On September 7th this year, Nikocado uploaded a video in which he shocked the whole world by losing 250 pounds of weight in just two years. Today I woke up from a very long dream and I also woke up having lost 250 pounds off of my body. But what's even more shocking is how he tricked everybody into believing that he is still a giant mammoth, filling up his body with unhealthy amounts of calories and making a joke of himself in his videos but little did the audiences know it was all a part of his grand social experiment. This has been the greatest social experiment for my entire life. It's alluring, it's compelling, it's gripping to observe all these unwell, disoriented beings roam the internet. For years, he portrayed himself as an easily agitated, obese man, just to test the limits of viewer manipulation. But that's not the craziest part of his social experiment. What's even crazier is that he pre-recorded an insane amount of mukbang content sometime in 2022 and kept releasing it for over two years. People are the most messed up creatures on the entire planet, and yet I've still managed to stay two steps ahead of everyone. Funnily enough, his plan performed really well because every commentary YouTuber who once hated him for his on-camera madness now appreciates his evil genius. But this transformation from obese to thin wasn't sudden. He had always dropped hints about what was coming next. I'm going back to a healthy diet, be better exercise, better routine, lifestyle. Sadly, nobody takes a dramatically controversial man seriously. So people like him have to carefully plot each step to stay in the news. Whether it's this particular video from 2022 or the latest TikTok short in which he mocks audiences for believing in AI generated imagery and getting tricked once again. I'm two steps ahead. My whole life is premeditated. It's calculative. It's manipulative. My life has been a social experiment. Jokes on you. I'm actually really smart. And what was the result of that video? Millions of people believed it. Well, this little video looks pre-recorded because other clips of him doing the newly released Apple dance and the dates on the UFC fight banner suggest that he has lost 250 pounds and is now just tricking millions of people into staying relevant. One important truth that all this Nikocado avocado fiasco highlights is that content creators show you what they want you to see. It can be a manufactured character for the world to see, while that person is completely different in real life. But why do content creators like Nikocado, who was once a happy-go-lucky freelance violinist, dive into such insane experiments? Well, the answer lies in understanding the arc of his YouTube career, Nikocado Avocado's relentless pursuit of attention, drama, and conflict. In early 2014, Nichols aka Nikocado was working as a freelance violinist, but due to financial challenges and the competitive nature of the field, he couldn't get a stable job. So following trends of that era, he started to vlog his vegan lifestyle on YouTube, where he'd upload videos of him eating 20 avocados in a row and talking to the camera about how veganism can help in fighting many illnesses. Surprisingly, people liked his raw talk while eating, which eventually became the main idea of his videos. But this didn't sit well with other vegan YouTubers. They'd call him out for not fully embracing veganism and being a vegan activist. One fine day, Nick uploaded a video titled, Why I'm No Longer a Vegan YouTuber. This is when veganism becomes like a mental illness, I think, where it, it takes over your life, it consumes you, you alienate yourself from the real world. I think vegans are imbalanced, hostile, militant, and mentally unstable among the different types of groups or communities out there in the world. I think vegans on YouTube tend to become mentally ill, and I no longer want to be associated with a handful of vegan YouTubers. Following this, Nikocado transitioned to making mukbangs of a more varied diet, which received positive feedback from audiences. Over the next few years, Nikocado's popularity surged, largely driven by his hour-long fast food mukbang videos. His positive and relatable persona helped him build a stable fan base. But then, it reached a point where even millions of views a month and a flood of positive comments couldn't satisfy Nikocado's hunger for fame and money. After all, positivity doesn't buy you mansions. So, Nikocado chose the path of drama to chase clout. 
By 2019, Nikocado was officially the biggest mukbanger on YouTube, who would arguably upload 363 videos per year on his various channels. A large amount of these videos were mukbangs, which made him gain weight. A little more than he ever expected. So let's see how much I weigh. I don't even know. I think 160, maybe 160. Weigh yourself here. So we're gonna step right up. That has to be wrong. You guys, I'm 200 pounds. By this time, Nikocado had cracked the YouTube algorithm, realizing that to reach a wider audience, you can't just create repetitive content. To hit big numbers, you need to add some spice, some fire, and a good dose of drama to your content. That's exactly what Nikocado did. He made videos where he would randomly pick fights with his then partner, Orlin, and drag them out to create a series of videos on the same topic. Or, he'd fake that he has broken his ribs. The same people who once loved binge watching his mukbangs were now getting grossed out by his increasingly aggravating behavior. After reaching the highest number of viewership in 2021, Nikocado slowly began to lose his subscriber base because of a lot of commentary YouTubers were now addressing his troublesome content situation. Penguin Zero uploaded a nine minute video titled, This YouTuber is Slowly Killing Himself for Views, in which he discussed Nikocado's clout chasing behavior. He is slowly killing himself and documenting the journey the entire time while having an understanding of exactly what he's doing. The video instantly went viral, amassing over 16 million views, which obviously prompted Nikocado to plan a response. This person thought it would be cute to sit down on the computer and talk about my weight and my appearances and to fixate on how I look. This action-reaction drama brought in impressive numbers for Nikocado's struggling channel. So, this genius decided to create conflicts with every YouTuber who tried to explain his situation. Whether it was Meat Canyon, PewDiePie, or Oompfile, he responded to each one to enjoy his 15 minutes of fame and cash in on the views generated by his haters. It came to a point where his haters were more concerned about his health than his fans. Even a few of them suggested that he start a weight loss journey and go back to pursue his passion for playing the violin. But I would love there to be an insane redemption arc in this story where he turns it all around, gives it the same level of attention, and starts making healthier choices as we watch him rewind time and turn back into that 140 pound violin wielding twink. Well, Nikocado has now actually rewinded time and turned into his old jacked up self. The man has shut down thousands of haters, and I hope he continues making healthy choices for himself and won't fall back into old patterns. It's inspiring to see at least one Ute reclaiming their life and redefining their narrative.